Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm headed to America. I like to be in America. Everything's free in America. It's Black Friday. Hopefully there's not too many crowds. I will be abiding strictly by the no COVID test rules that are in effect till the 30th of November. Otherwise, I get a $5,750 fine. So I will not be having a burger with fries down there. I will be only shopping for essential things, food, fuel, that's it. So wish me luck, got my passport. Let's do a double check. Got my Canadian passport ready to roll. And it's good that these borders are open now because uh, I know some of you are thinking, well, what does this have to do with me? If you are an American and you live anywhere near a border where the other side of the border has cheaper stuff, you're a fool not to <laughs> use that. Arbitrage to price differences. For example, if I was an American or an American resident living in Washington, I would come up to Canada to get cheaper medication, cheaper dental work, and even some cheaper medical um, procedures, I guess. I don't know what Canadian medical procedures cost because they're not legally allowed to give us a bill, but I do know they can legally bill Americans for medical services up here, and they have to because you're not part of our socialized medical system. I'd even imagine there's even the odd used car or used RV that's cheaper in Canada, um, especially when you pay attention to the currency differences. So off we go down to Bellingham, Washington. Quick run down to uh, get those supplies because we are running low on a few things. And, you know, there's a lot of people that are first responders. They say you're a nurse or a firefighter and you're working a 12-hour shift. You probably waste two hours in the car commuting. The rest of your time is sleeping and maybe walking your dog. You don't got time to run across the border unless you live right close to it. So, hey, I'm taking the pressure off the supply lines. We are getting low on fuel in some gas stations. Some gas stations are actually even out. So the more people like me go down there to buy things, the less pressure there is for things that are needed for others who cannot go. So let's get on with it and get our butts down on the highway and cross that darn border. We got one day of sun here until the second and third storm kicks in, so it's a good day to go shopping. And I'm just approaching the Canada US border at Linden, Washington. And the border guards hate it if you video them, and it makes them angry, so I'm going to turn the camera off as I cross. Okay, that was smooth like butter. Here's proof I am in Washington State. Let's go get some groceries. So I'm at the Walmart here in Bellingham. I noticed they don't allow overnight camping anymore. It got abused too much. <laughs> Sad that that happens. Some of these car alarms going off. Haven't seen any Canadian license plates in the parking lot yet, but uh, anyway, let's get the shopping. Essentials only. Let's get a carton. Okay, it wasn't too bad. Okay, we focused on what was the best bargains, not necessarily the most healthiest food, if you know what I'm saying. So we got a couple liters of chocolate milk, a couple liters of skim milk, cereal, bread, 
I got some blueberries, pasta, a whole bunch of dog food over there. Uh, what else? I got a few things that you cannot get at home very easily. Some Maui chips. Um, same with these Hawaiian buns. They're kind of hit or miss whether you can get them. So only a hundred and four hundred five US dollars for all this. Canadian money that'd be what maybe about 137. It's not bad. Yeah, I think it's fair. Wouldn't say I stole the food, but it was it was reasonable. Looks like we got a load of Teslas coming to Vancouver to be sold. Okay, I had to make a quick bathroom break and get fuel, and now I'm heading to the border. Hopefully it's not a big lineup. But I guess we'll find out in a few minutes. Okay, we're at the border, and there's only, what, one, two, three, four cars ahead of me. And the guy in front of me is from Washington, so he's probably going to get less questions than I will. So, let's see how it goes today. Going down was smooth, so this is where I'm crossing today. And Alder Grove. I find this is a faster crossing for me. Remember, folks, declare your cannabis, anything over 10 grand cash, and your weapons. Oh, and don't bring firewood. <laughs> it's funny they only got one lane open. What's everybody else doing? Oh, they got a dog. Hopefully they got their rabies vaccination for the dog. Now they're gonna get questions. Oh, they got two dogs. Ah, they probably know the drill. Well, I'm next in the queue. Wish me luck. Well, I won a free prize at the Canadian border. <laughs> I've never been pulled in like this in a long time. Randomly selected for a COVID test. I didn't fill out the uh, Arrive Can app, which I should have, but I didn't. I just did it in the lobby. So I'm good to go with all my stuff, but apparently I have a COVID test to mail in. I'm going to have to have a, a chat on live screening with the public health nurse. <laughs> a few other little goodies like that. So. Yeah, but no duties on the uh, supplies, so we're all good. So no extra costs. <laughs> Glad I'm retired and I got time for this. Anyway, fun at the border. And off we leave the secondary border examination area. You know, the officers were actually pretty chill and respectful, so I got no complaints. You know, I'm sure they'd prefer to go back to the old ways when they could just wave you through. So it's the way it is. Let's go home. To send me the pooper. What do we got here? Truck went off the road. What the hell was this guy doing? The road was dry. What an idiot. Oh, well, that's a write off. <laughs> oh, well. I got you, I got you